Hey y'all, it's Amina Butterfly and y'all watching DopeFiles.com. This is Omaria. Hey, this is Winter Gordon. You're watching GoFiles.com and all this chat. What's going on, everybody? You're tuning in to another episode of DopeFiles.com, and we are in the fat black pussycat tonight. And I'm rocking with. Village Underground. Yes, Sounds the big. Village Underground. I've actually been here before, but tonight I'm here to see the beautiful Amina Butterfly. Hi. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm it's so good. good to meet you. I like the little heart tattoo you got going on in there. Yes. <laughs> so it's an interesting fact that you're not even from America. No, I'm not. I've been here for a while though. I've been uh -huh. here nine years now. But I go, like I still go back and forth. Originally from Germany. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised there. And then when I was 19, I came over with my two sisters. We were in a group, you know, we did the whole group thing for years and then we actually got fined and all that. So. Yeah. Right. So like you were saying, you were in a group. You were in a group back in Germany where you got signed. Talk to us about like that experience. Like what was your group name and what actually, did you guys do? When we got signed in Germany, that was really early in our teens, um, we were called Choice. Um, mm -hmm. It was me and my two sisters, my twin and my older sister. And you have then, an identical twin sister? Yes. Oh, so cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> That was the group name back then, but then once we got to America and we got signed here, it was Black Butterfly. So some people might know it. You know, we had two singles out. We mm -hmm. never actually released the album, but we recorded like a whole bunch of stuff, and we have all kinds of stuff like leaked. Yeah. And, like um, you know, like we had that song Bad Girl featuring Fabulous in 2007. F to the A B. Hey. Black Butterfly. And we had another single Rockabye. So some people might remember it was like big in the clubs and stuff. So. So what was your hustle like? How like you got signed twice, once in Germany and then once when you got Actually, over here. Twice over here. You got signed twice <laughs> yes. here. So was that? <laughs> yeah, so you know, we used to on Dope Files, we usually speak to new artists who are trying to get to that level, but you've already been there, so I've been there and I'm kind of to be honest, a little bit over it. Like right. I don't want to get signed anymore. I've had a lot of good but also bad experiences with record deals. So I'm like, like what in particular? What was like um, like uh, the good experiences were like definitely like being around all the greats and like working with great producers and great names, getting to tour like with big people like Tyrese and like mm -hmm. you know just like being in the mix with everyone. But like the bad thing is like sometimes you feel like um, I felt like it's a lot of time wasting and labels don't always focus on you. They have all these other eggs and like sometimes you sit around a lot. And, right. Like, uh, and, like you know what are we doing? Like are we gonna release the album and then your album gets pushed back and then. You know, you get shelved or whatever happens, you know, they're not really pushing the singles and then you're like, okay, I'm signed, but nothing's really, what does this mean, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, and people like react to that when you're signed, they like, oh, you're signed. Like, you're out of here, like you made it. Right, but mm -hmm. it's not like you haven't made it, you know? So when you went solo, what was the decision behind that? Like, you're not with your singing with your sisters anymore? Like, so I miss them so much, right. you know? How long ago did you disband? Actually, our oldest sister left first, so then we were a duo, Black Butterfly. Um, we did like a, actually the second deal was as a duo, me and my twin sister. That was last year, I think, like when she decided to take a break. And I had written so many songs on my own, just like in my free time. And I just felt like I needed to, like I had a sound for myself that I had developed and uh, I, I felt like I want to share. So I decided to work on this with a solo. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. So like you've gone from a group to a solo act. How did your sound evolve to what, you, what you're doing today? Um, it's really different, you know, also had to do with me starting to play instruments because I first started playing piano. I started picking up the guitar and now I'm like totally like in love with like just playing and I feel like they're my new group members now, the guitar and the piano, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, I just, um, over time, developed the sound, I would call it a sound, it's like a, I can't really describe it, but it's like, you know, it's, it's me. Right. <laughs> so, is there a single out now that we can look forward um, to? First single is still out, yeah, I put it out a year ago, so it's a while ago, but um, still, um, my number one song that I love more than anything, uh, How Can I Be With You? How can I be with you? the music video for that. Yes. Gorgeous. I'm planning on the next one. I know I've been, you know, it's taking me a while, but you know, when you do stuff yourself, it's not always quick and like, you know, you have to come up with budgets for videos yourself and like all that stuff. So it's step by step. So you don't have like a collective of music coming out. You're just kind of doing like single by single right now? Right. That's what I want to do because 
because I, uh, I don't know, like I definitely want a whole, like a whole album, but um, it's not at that point yet. Like I think I'm, I'm really like, kind of like just taking it song by song. But eventually it's gonna be a, a whole album. What's your goal with it now? Because you've been to the labels, you've been traveling, you've been, you've been there and back. So we know that you still have a passion for it. What's your next step, or where do you want to go with it? Um, the goal, I think, I would say is definitely just connecting with the audience and the people that want to hear my music. If the label is interested, you know, I, I wouldn't mind looking at it and like possibly working with someone again, but it's not, oh, I'm trying to get another deal, like not like that, like I'm just taking it easy right now and just doing me. All right, lady, good luck tonight and we are definitely looking forward to it. Thank you so much for talking to me for Dope Files. Sure. <laughs> and you guys stay tuned for Amina Butterfly's performance.